Hello everyone, uh, it's Will Kemp here from Rain. I played Launt Darnley and I am on FR Convention. <laughs> It was great um, fun, actually. When I uh, joined Rain for the fourth season, I knew that I was coming on to something that had already begun and was hugely successful. So from a professional point of view, it's um, kind of always your job to keep the train moving. So to jump on and keep everything going. But the cast was so um, fantastic and uh, very welcoming. Um, we did a read through of each script. So every episode we all get together um, and we at least a few days before we start shooting and read through the episode. So you immediately have the chance to meet everybody, to read with everybody, to learn about the other characters, about the other actors. But one uh, wonderful thing I remember was it was my birthday. So I joined, I flew out to Toronto probably about May and it's my birthday the end of June. And the way that my character was scheduled in was that originally it was sort of three episodes and then they decide whether they want you as part of the whole season or not. And I remember that Rachel, Ben and Adelaide took me out to celebrate my birthday. And that was, that was such a lovely time that that was what really cemented our friendship. So I'll always be thankful for them taking me out for my birthday. We had a great time in Toronto. No, it's a great question. Um, I didn't think about conventions. And then when the first one for uh, Dream It um, Con came up a couple of years ago, the opportunity to one, travel to France, two, meet up with the cast. We'd wrapped, I guess, a year or two earlier, I think, but the fans have been fantastic. I had no real idea until you actually meet and get involved with how wonderful the Rain fans are. And I, I actually loved that convention. It was hard work. Everyone was so tired. Literally, they come towards you. People look drained. They've been there so many hours. Um, but really, some of the best fans. And um, I always love this. And I'm about to do the next one virtually. So um, uh, I'm excited to meet and hear from everybody. Uh, it's wonderful that you see the same people from last time. So it's great. The fans are very, very loyal um, and have been terrific. So thanks fans. Spinning Out was a lot of fun and was a very different type of show. Um, and uh, I think that it was a shock uh, for everyone, actually, the cast, the creatives, um, that we only did get to do the one season. Um, but again, it's a popular show. And what's great with Netflix is that people can just go back and watch the whole thing. Um, and it's a very, very well done, very ambitious series. Um, and there's been some great fans from that. And I think that what's fantastic with social media, as you said, is that people can talk to each other, keep in touch. Um, and I think I'm hoping what's fun is that people that have watched me from Rain, and they go to Spinning Out, then they maybe watch Hallmark movies, and then they come back and then they find out all the other movies that I've also done and on Twitter and Instagram, I have the Kempers, who are these a wonderful group of loyal supporters. Um, and hopefully they're going to have fun watching uh, Princess Switch 3 on Netflix at Christmas time as well. That's going to be fun. I think that Spinning Out does cover a very important uh, subject with the mental health storyline um, and I think that uh, the cast and the writers and creators and everyone involved took that very seriously um, and it was obviously shot before the pandemic which is interesting because I think that at this point in time I do wonder if a show like that may have been cancelled or not because I think we're becoming more and more 
aware at this current time of uh, different types of stresses that um, the predicament has brought us and uh, the very big question and conversation of mental health is huge. Um, for me playing Mitch, it was important to try and understand what it's like to be a partner in that. So not the one who has to deal directly with the issues of mental health, but as possibly the carer, the person who, and there are so many people like this who actually aren't directly inflicted by the mental health, but as a byproduct have to learn how to cope with the person they love who is also going through that. So I was um, very impressed with how Kaya and uh, January Jones dealt with that. And I felt that Mitch's point was just learning how he could play a positive part um, and help uh, someone through that. So I think that had the show continued, that would have been a very interesting uh, sort of storyline as how far is a person prepared to go to help a person they love who has trouble helping themselves. I'm really loving these conventions and I think now more than ever, even though we're doing it like this, uh, for Zoom, um, it's a really wonderful way for us all to connect, uh, to connect really over a common passion and to have some interaction. Um, and I think that a spinning out convention is a great idea. Uh, it was a great fun cast. Um, the boys, I would say, stuck together and the girls stuck together just by the nature of the characters. Often what happens on a show is that if your characters are aligned with certain other characters or you share sort of storylines or issues very often you'll notice that a cast will develop that way so i used to hang out with um mitchell edwards and evan and um the other guys quite a lot so we would just get together and have a breathe and go like Phew. That was intense, right? Because all the girls are doing all this intense sort of mental uh, stress. So the guys often got together and just had a drink and relaxed. So I think that a convention would be a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of very strong personalities. I had a great time working with uh, Willow Shields, of course, um, who everyone will know from the Hunger Games. Of course, it has a big fan base. And um, we had a lot of laughs even though it was pretty intense and um, we were training on the ice um, a lot. Although my character actually ended up not being on the ice very much, but in preparation, I learned how to ice skate and how to figure skate specifically. Um, but when we weren't working or training, then yeah, we had a great time. Mm -hmm.